The Labrador, or Labrador Retriever. It's a breed that we see all the time. After all, the Labrador ranks among the top favourite breeds in the UK. They can be lovable family pets, hunters, helpers, trackers, show dogs, and more. But what does a Labrador look like? Before that, I should explain what a breed standard is. The breed standard, or the Kennel Club breed standard, is basically a set of blueprints that states what a pedigree dog should look like. From the fifth edition of the Kennel Club's illustrated breed standards, the Kennel Club's breed standards are the basis for judging dogs at all licensed dog shows. What is aimed for in every breed standard is breed type allied to soundness and good health. According to the Kennel Club breed standard, the Labrador should be strongly built with a broad head, chest, and deep ribs. They should have deep, expressive eyes in brown or hazel, with triangular ears that hang close to the face, well-boned legs, a straight back, and a median-length otter-like tail. The three main coat colours are entirely black, entirely yellow, or entirely chocolate. Popular in the working gun dog community, though, is a coloration called fox red which is a slight deviation from the yellow colouring. It's not recognised in the KC breed standard, but it is pretty. Labradors, as I've just hinted at, were actually bred as gun dogs. They're in the gun dog group in dog shows and are still used today for their original purpose. The breed's full name tells us what they're for. Retrieving. When a hunter shoots down a bird, let's say, their Labrador would go and fetch it. The structure of a Labrador's jaw was entirely developed for this and is described as a perfect, regular and complete scissor bite which basically means that the upper teeth closely overlap the lower teeth. But they're not just gun dogs now, and the vast majority of the Labradors we as a nation own are family pets. This, although they're great at it, brings with it the issue of a Labrador's appetite. Bred as a working dog, these dogs are high energy and have a huge appetite to go along with it, and without the proper training or a good diet, they can become overweight very easily. This is a body score chart. They're used by animal husbandry practitioners to rate the body condition of a dog or cat in their care. An animal at a 5 would be overweight, an animal at a 1 would be underweight, and so on. A score of 3 is ideal, but many dogs, including a lot of Labradors, end up as a 5 or more. So much so that some people believe that an overweight Labrador is what a Labrador should look like. Of course, every dog should be at a healthy weight, but service dogs most definitely need to be in great condition to do their job. From guide dogs to hearing dogs to mental health service dogs, including those for autistic kids, Labradors have been a top choice, but why? According to the guide dogs website, Labradors, crossed with golden retrievers, have produced the most successful guide dog of all. Although other breeds, such as German Shepherds, Standard Poodles, and more, are used as guide dogs, an approximate 70% of the guide dog population in the UK are Labradors. This is due to their gentle temperament, ease of training, intelligence, and loyalty. All in all, the Labrador is a great dog, and actually kind of underappreciated in my opinion. We take the breed for granted, and unfortunately many a Labrador isn't cared for properly, but they are capable of doing amazing things beyond their gun dog roots.